G'day viewers, <laughs> how are you? Bill from Rod and Paddle. Um, and if you haven't checked us out, go to our Facebook page. Um, it's all about kayak fishing and fishing kayaks. So, yes, it's an Australian based page, um, but we put stuff up there from all over Australia and all over the world. And uh, as I said, it's, it's all about fishing kayaks and kayak fishing. Anyway, today, what I want to talk to you about, I want to talk to you about that little fella there. So that little lure there, soft plastic, in the last three days, so a total of about 10 hours of fishing, has caught over 120 redfin perch. Redfin perch, if you don't know, they're English perch or European perch. Um, so they're essentially the same fish that you find in North America, which is called the yellow perch, but their, their fins are a reddish tinge rather than a yellowish tinge, uh, but they're the same family. Um, so those 120 fish, or in excess of 120 fish, um, were all over um 23 25 centimeters so um not huge fish there's a few in the mid 30s um probably 15 20 uh, but most were between 25 and uh low 30s so what's so important about this law well, that's what did all the damage why this law because i noticed fairly early on that um, some of the perch were regurgitating, <laughs> um, regurgitating um, baby redfin. And if you look at that one, it's a pearl colour with red head and a touch of red in the belly. And that was the key. I tried lots of other lures, all, all of which worked to one degree or another. Uh, but this was the killer. Pretty much a bite per cast. So, how do you do that? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. And this is not uh, un unusual. I do this a lot anyway. So, um, typically uh, I paint my G heads one of three colours, black, white or red. Um, red, A, because of the perch colouring, but B, uh, more importantly, um, and it'll work on many other fish, brim, bass, estuary perch, and so on, um, is that the... Actually, what I might do is angle this down a bit. Like that. So what I'm doing here is the... And I'll give us a bit of light too, that might help. Is that when you uh, paint the the jig head yes it looks it gives it that red color so if a fish fish are in a true hunting mode um, it's thought that if they see the gill rakers of another fish they might f think that that fish is in a little bit of trouble gill rakers come up as a red color um, and it, it helps with a strike rate um, a lot of times when you're fishing you, will, you can also put a red bead now you notice here that I'm painting the hook keeper and that's actually really important, particularly if you're using a lure like I was using, the pearl colour, and I was painting the undercolour of the head as well. Okay, that's all I do. This is just an automotive enamel paint, so it's really, really simple stuff. It takes only a few minutes to dry, and then I just hang the lure up to dry. So that's simple. Uh, and if you look at the lure, you can see there that um, you can see the the red hook keeper through it um, and it, do, it does seem to help with the hook up rate um, anyway high quality hook so cheaper quality ones you don't get the same hook up rate um, but yeah high quality one this is a TT lures jig head um, and they're the way to go
I don't know why, but in the last three, four days, the redfin have just been on fire. And this morning, I've hardly moved, probably in one spot. And I'll show you something in a minute. Um, but it's been, yeah, it's been pretty. Uh, I haven't had any on surface. I've tried. But caught any on surface but there's uh, been pretty good so far this morning none of them are huge but this morning there's been a couple of reasonable ones they've definitely gone off the bite slightly I think I just caught too many here so what we might do is we might move out here there's a bit more sunlight Nothing. All right. So, have a look. I don't know how well you can see this. <laughs> I should just let them all out and start again, eh? <laughs> And that's in about half an hour this morning. Change locations. I've tried here for a couple of minutes. I just had a couple of hits, so. And another one. Look at them. If you're wondering why I keep put, putting the fish in the net, it's pretty simple really. Sometimes, these guys, when you release them back, they'll go and shut the school down. Not all the time. Oh, look, did you see that? And I've caught probably over a dozen fish already this morning on this one lure. And it's already worn the red paint off the head of it. So what's all this mean? Um, well, On the one hand, uh, people talk about redfin and perch as being a very easy fish to catch. And I know here in Australia, uh, you often hear things like, if you want to teach your children how to fish, go fish for redfin. Um, and the reality is, is when redfin are on the bite, they are fairly easy to catch um, compared to, uh, say, our native fish, for example. Um, so they can be quite easy to catch uh, and they'll go for almost any lure but what this what I'm talking about here is not that situation what I'm talking about here is how do you improve your catch rate of redfin um, so two simple things that I use wherever possible I will match the hatch same as with any other fish um, and then the second thing is that if they are being finicky, right, or you do notice that the bite shuts down very, very quickly after you've released one or two of them, then I will put them in a net or I will release them somewhere else. So somewhere else in the same water system. So that, that may just mean uh, a short paddle and throwing them in uh, yeah, away from where their school was right uh, but uh, um, often I will use the net if you're in a competition the net is super super handy whether it's for redfin brim bass any of that sort of stuff 
and I'll put a link up at the end of this video for the net. Um, it's available here in Australia and America and so on. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a great piece of kit. Or you can make your own net. Or... some bigger ones and I think I've got one of the bigger ones. It's in the glare of the sun so I can't make it out. Uh, it's looking alright. Come on man. It's only four pound line so Um, okay, this is the biggest one today. I'll get him over the over the edge of the net so he can't get away. He'd be close to the biggest one today. Stop it. You shake one more time, it'll get the hook in my finger. take the time to uh, look at my channel um, I've got five playlist sections on the channel so when you go to the intro page there's five playlist sections I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos that I've loaded onto the channel not just my videos but from all over the world right and 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 they're videos that I've looked at and I've gone yep that's a that's a great video about kayak fishing or fishing kayaks so that's what the videos are about, kayak fishing or fishing kayaks. So please have a look at the rest of my channel. If you like this video, please hit the, the, the like button. Um, subscribe to see any more videos that are coming up, get notifications on them. I put a lot of work into my videos, definitely not a professional videographer. Um, I'm in it for the fishing. Not I, I make no money off my videos. So please, every little like counts for me.